So, uh, the ranger is definitely bad. We might not want two fledglings. Monsters look OP. Nothing says skillful like overpowered. <laughs> I don't know. So far, it seems like Squirtle is pretty strong. Skellige is pretty strong. I don't see... Well, the thing is, I just didn't see... Did I? I, I think I may have seen one. No realm. Skirtel seems like the most popular along with monsters and Skellige. Nilfgaard and uh... Ow. This is gonna go into the other row. That's annoying. Not sure how to fight this. I don't know if we have uh, what it takes to blow him up. Zero knee of guard. Yeah. Nilfgaard is kind of like a counter faction. Once you know what to counter, you might see some Nilfgaard. Huh. I'm a little hesitant to play the, the lock. Big spider. Oh. I wonder how different this is. Okay, he has red haze. Not sure why. We can use Sursa. can kill the Arrakis in the back. One thing I can do. Not sure who to buff though. I can buff the Great Oak. Not a terribly powerful move. Or well, maybe this is gonna spook him. What would you guys play uh, in the Guard? The, the new Assimilate deck? That seems kind of cool, but it's also not too reliable. That's why I'm kind of uh, questioning the reliability of that deck. Like, you gotta play some... You kind of need to know how to play against the decks. But yeah, we're gonna play that. That seems like the next best thing. To Dana. He's also setting up his draws. He doesn't care about the fact that I'm actually just threatening to kill that 17. Uh, 
I can go to 19. This guy has like balls of steel. Play something that's com that's kind of useful. Huh. Oh my god! He's also forcing me to play the Great Oak. If I want to win this, and I kind of want to, because then we have the last say. But that also prevents me uh, from just using throwaway cards round two. I don't know if this spider is so smart. You try to simulate, you won, won one game. That's pretty good. How many games you've played? Maybe one. 1% 1 V rate. Was it more than one? Hmm. Definitely want some dry ads. I don't know. Still need a long round, but he needs a long round as well. I just don't have a finisher. I think, I think I'm gonna chance going against uh, the spider in a long round. You played 12 games? I don't know if I played so many games yet. Wait, Dana, what the fuck? Why do you have your hand up? Hey, Mr. Spider, can I ask you a question? No? Okay. Oh, she has her hand up again. Maybe she's getting sworn in. Spider, I promise you. I will not stomp on you. You're too big. Uh. Oh, I guess we gotta pull that away. What the hell, Dana? Oh, she does a little dance when I click on her, but other than that, she has her hand up in the air. Like non-stop. But that could be good. We could just get out Sasuke and she can... Wait. No, no, no. We only got one tree end. And I... Oh, I got two humans. Actually, playing this human early is, makes more sense. As long as he doesn't die. That's always the big one. But we need all the help we can get. And I suppose I just gotta play Sasuke as soon as possible. I can always just follow it up with a Dryad Matron. <laughs> then we can go Water of Broccolon. Well, I don't have a Dwarf, so... Sasuke is gonna be good, but not great. tricky to build a deck like this because you need dwarfs, elves, dryads. You can actually cut down some of these matrons. But I don't have a lot. This death love guy is just in every deck now. This is a pretty weak hand. When it comes to this deck. Very 
The card duty is, is locked, it's OP. Well, I have a, one lock. <laughs> yeah, that's... Fair, that's a good combo too. I guess we're gonna play Milba next. Milba or three on boar. But I think it's gonna be Milba. Then the Dryad Ranger. Or three on boar. We'll see. This only generates one value. These all generate one value. Wait, what? He plays that card? Being Vitality for so many turns? Why? Why that card? Suppose I gotta play a Sirasa now. Or a Sirsa. I suppose we might want to keep a Dryad in the hand. An Elf and a Dryad in the hand for some time. But we want to play the human. Yeah, I'm afraid of that. Don't you fret about me. Can take care of myself. Didn't I play the smuggler before the dryad fledglings? Why did the dryads ignore Milva? Including Sursa. Great. So, Sasuke hits the Barbigazi. I do want to keep one. Well, we can play the Treon. That's fine. But, yeah, I'm not a big believer in the victory here. At least it might encourage him to... Uh, he's gonna eat Ruhian and Uderak is drawn, most likely. Question is how greedy is he? Okay, that's gonna help the Dryad Matron. It would be actually a good time to play the trap, but let's not do that. Oh, 
I can spook him if I play the Dried Ranger. Why not just do that? It's not gonna matter. He's gonna play the same way. But if I play the Dried Ranger, it's gonna uh, gain two more boosts. Your next move shall be your last. Oh. You can only put one more guy. goes back he's really min maxing it gotta play it mean ugly Is this and to get some elven synergy value really getting rid of the lock You might want to play the crushing trap now. Maybe not. I don't know. He's gonna eat all of that. God, this is so intense. Actually, I hate fighting as the dumb spider. It's a pretty big uh, archer here. Well, that's gonna help a little bit. Isn't that a Glusty? Apparently not. Did he just not join to it? That's the game. Oh my god, what are these games? GG. I'm an Alvin novice. Come on. That's just an insult. Alright, even GG him for being a spider. I don't want to encourage him though. We got me. Uh, Archer goes away. Panther goes away. Yeah, not the best hand. Go with like a Dryad Fledgling into Smuggler, into... I would need to be Dryad Matron. Maybe we should just go with Smuggler. Although he might just kill the Smuggler. I don't know if he's gonna overreact to the Fledgling. Well, this is what I expected. This is the deck I kind of wanted to build. And uh, I suppose people are just gonna beat me, beat me to the punch. Is that... Uh, th this is the kind of deck where you... At least the... The one I would have built, and I'm not sure if I would use me for that, but we'll see. I think I don't think he's going for the same strategy. But I would go for like some kind of war machine strategy with shields. Uh, that could be good.
Is this gonna die? I guess one way to find out. Got business for me. As long as we can play some crap, uh, that's pretty good. Try them! But does he want to shield that? Apparently he is. He isn't shielding that. Not exactly sure why. Fixilon! The piggies. Seems like Regis Bloodlust is gonna show up quite a bit. It's an okay card. But... We'll see. I would like to see a better visual effect. I'm not, not entirely against this like little icon in the corner, but it would be nice to see some kind of proper shield for shield. I want to enable maybe Sursa. This is gonna be the last card I play. Uh, in all likelihood, yes. points behind and he's gonna generate some value I think we're just gonna pass this happens to me a lot <laughs> losing round one do I ever win round one guys I suppose sometimes I do but you kind of need the hand for it feels like I well that doesn't really happen too much uh, we don't really have a clear throwaway other than well we got we got these a good card. Still kind of looking for some throwaways. What is round one? I don't know. What? Ain't more like what is round two? Now it comes down to the Death big to decision: the do you play one card, or do you just p pass right away? Ooh, that's actually really annoying. If it has shield, then it keeps boosting. What if I just kick the shield? Leave while you still stand. I don't, he doesn't really know that I just don't care about poison too much. So he needs to be a little bit sensible. As far as he knows, I might actually care about poison. Life. But it, it doesn't give me too much respect at all. Which is just very disappointing. He wants to push me. And I just can't really let that guy generate a lot of value. I'm not sure how many ways he has to shield. Obviously he has those. Although playing Sursa now, a bit of a dead giveaway. Huh. 
I can just play the Dried Fledgling. Seems like he's committed to pushing me. Be annoying. <laughs> I think we gotta play Water of Broccolon. Actually, we need to play Ethan Agley. Actually, I should have played it in the back. Messed up. Awaiting your orders. Too good. Key units need to die. At least the three damage is gonna. Well, it's not gonna die actually. That's the most annoying part. That's what she should do. Uh, we're just gonna assume that we are fucked. And I'm gonna play a crushing trap. It's gonna be 10 points. And we gotta play Sheldon. The unworthy shall be punished. Uh oh. Who's gonna get hit for 10? Because this, well, he's gonna get hit for a little bit more. Actually, I think I have enough. Because this is gonna be a 20 point. This is gonna be uh, 11. Aye, aye, finished my pain. So if I. And turn. Be good. And I have Dana and a card advantage. Okay, you push me. Let's go to round three. Let's okay, interesting play. Let's see how it works out for him. Uh no. What do we want? Ah, the Panther is okay. Let's keep it. Am I gonna get out the Dryad just to... Now let's do that. Hey, watch your step. Let's do something like that. Yeah. 
forget about that. Humans are not to be trusted. Not that easy to even punish me now, a shorter round. It's obviously garbage. There's big faith in his last card. Valeria and Rivia! <gasps> no way! Yeah, that's a good card. Yes. This is a good deck, guys. I can just play OP cards and not tank. GG.